morning! Oh, and welcome to my daily vlog of life on our beef and arable farm here in South Yorkshire. Yes, we're back in the UK um, after three days in Poland looking around the Samash factory and then some Polish farms. Now, let me tell you, Polish farming is very similar to us in, in many respects, but some of the, the ways of life that they've got and the money that can be earned out there compared to what the, uh, the margin that we've got here in the, uh, the UK is, is, yeah, is, is drastically different. Anyway, we will, um, oh, yeah, I might put some bits in today or I might put it in a separate video, I'm not sure how that's gonna go, but check out what we're, what we're up to today. Some things in the background, we're gonna be doing something um, to improve the farm. So we got the shed opened up and we'll uh, get feeding around some cattle with a TM. So we've already encountered our first issue of the day. Good job we got this. Turn it off. I've stopped that leaking. Um, which means we've got to muck this out today. Uh, I've just fed these guys as well, so we'll, we'll let them eat the feed because it's dry over there. And then um, we'll get them in another pen. And we'll muck this out. What a start to the day, eh? Hey? What a start to the day. It's because we used to have a water trough there. Um, we then moved them to the front so that things like this can't happen, but the water supply comes up through the concrete so I mean, there's no way I can really uh, just knock it off under the concrete without really doing some damage and digging some up. Anyway, we'll get it sorted. As I'm going round, look who's here! Hi right, Michael. Hi Good? I'm looking for Bob. Hiya. Yeah. I don't know where it is. So I'm here feeding round. Noah's putting the into the straw blower. So everywhere's getting fed. With a bucket. So now I'm on fixing water troughs because this one's got some of that sediment from the bar roll bunging it up. So we'll get these back to having full water all the time, not just running in steady. Right, I've got that sorted now. Plumber Joe to the rescue. I haven't got enough meal to feed up, so I'm gonna start this mix now. Just tip that out. Well, it's getting quite warm now. We'll drop this off, fill the rest of the mix up. We should be able to get finishing feeding and get that pen mucked out. Yes, we've even got Ben and the dogs here. We've just had his coffee, so we're gonna, we've just moved the cattle out of that pen that was flooded into the bottom down here. And then, um, I'm gonna throw some straw about. And happy days. Here we go. Blast some straw out. So we're gonna get this mucked out now. Ben's straightening the light up because he's just crashed into this bale behind me. Straightening the light on the trailer. Right, so Ben's going to take that. We've not filled it too full, so we just want to see what the uh, field's like. I've got the fork. We'll uh, dig away around this pipe, and I think I'll change it from a T into a uh, an elbow. You can see a bit of water in here, so still some stuff to get out. Who's this coming down? <laughs> Big! Now then. What have you got on here? We had some corn cleaned. Oh, for your seed? Yeah, and it's just setting a bit of stuff. Uh, right, That'll go through mill. Oh, definitely. Oh, definitely not. Yeah, it's just a little bit It's good going that road because it gets rid of dust. Getting, <laughs> getting rid of dust now, that's dusty stuff, eh? Well, how much do we reckon there's in here then? Give us a, a guess in the comments below. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll announce a winner in the next couple of days. Yeah. This is giving the 1640 a run out. Away she goes. Got that. But it just spins around in there. Like nobody's business.
me like from that tractor. Here it comes. Got his little uh, magnetic lights on the back there. Look at that. So small and nimble, just spins around in this shed. Lightweight tractor as well. We've uh, we've worked out. Anybody used to drive one of these is a a younger man or lady. Tips it up. So I thought I'd leave it like this, so then you can see the size of the pile. There it goes. Single ram. Oh, we'll have a look inside. Look at this for a seat cover, eh? Very floral, Michael. So you got four gears there, three rangers, revs, steering wheel, obviously, adjustable, and adjustable up and down. Wow, that must have been forefront of technology in its day. PTO there. Some for your arms. Maybe that's a spool, I think. Pick a picture lock. What else we got? Oh, air, well, we haven't got air con, I don't think. But we've got fan. No, uh, windscreen wiper, fan, temperature. Radio there, look. It's all happening. And when you look through the front, that's the door panel, and it's in line with the exhaust. So you're not blocking much vision. That was the idea. We're gonna test mix lights now and see how far back they go. That one will work on that. Yeah, this, yeah, put hazards on, then they're both working either side, aren't they? Then you know that working. Yeah, and the, yeah. So we've got it flashing here. Obviously it's flashing on trailer. We'll just see how far they work for. You're getting to be a long trailer down this end of the shed, aren't you? Still well, working. Yeah, still working. Yeah, so that is. 20, 40, 60. Are you like? I'm 60. You're, you're 60? I'm 60 and I'm... Oh yeah, so any... You're not going to get a 60 foot trailer, are you? No. <laughs> it works. These off cramp, so cramp online. So if, you th if you're wondering how far they reach, a long way. No, it's a bad tactic. No way, we plug. Well, and just keep going. Well, you're 20. It's easy. We're not 20. Oh yeah, you could do. Yeah, yeah. Just keep, just keep going until it comes off. Yeah. Off he goes. Well, that's 120. Oh, 120 foot now. Right, you. Do you want to go to Waybridge? I'm just walking up one bay here so that I can actually see him when he's going up there. <laughs> he must be nearly 200 foot away now. We are line of sight, don't get me wrong. See if he goes, if I go. Oh, well, there's a concrete wall between us now. Ah, it's just gone off. Me and Mick, <laughs> he's backing off. I'm gonna go and, I'm gonna go and tip this load of muck in field. Oh, he's coming up here, there is some ruts. This is a track though. Yeah, if if they'd have right. kept on top of track, 
then we wouldn't have sunk into this bit here, but anyway. Because it is a good it's a good limestone track under here, mate. Mm. We kept it edgy. Sounds good. Um, nice, nice I think it's like it's really no 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 it's it's um Sandstone it's like a proper track. No, like with bricks field, and though, stuff. It looks fairly, it oh looks no, it's, fairly dry yeah, when it's a bit clay like. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Blow me, blow me with patches of clay. Uh, I'm hoping wait up. Wait, the muck's going to push this trailer along a bit because it looks to be in a, in a fair way. Yeah, 1640 might have to come along and get us out of here. No, it won't. We've got it. Put some um, hay in the mixer. She's looking mucky, isn't she? Let's muck out of that pen. You're happy with your lights? I can't believe that. They're, they're <laughs> old distance. Can I leave one here while I get a one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Call yeah. me up if it's still working. Yeah. So you can flash us when you're yeah, when you come in yeah, next. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. Right. It'd be like bat. Is it, is it Batman who has that alarm? Or is it lights? Flashing bat? Yeah, yeah. That's what do you want to flash into your seals? Yeah, flash into your seals. Flashing tractor yeah, or something. Flashing tractor. Mate, <laughs> <laughs> it's coming with a load of coal. See ya, see ya. Great, right, we'll catch you later. See you later. See you. Right. I'm Chief Technician. Technician. Foreman. Yaffer. Yeah, yeah? You've been a pain today, Joe. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm well. just busy. I'm just... Well, there's lots busy. of stuff I need to do it. Yeah, well, short job out there. Come on. Great, right, so we're going to fix this now. We're going to take all this section here out and just put a join in because we don't need that anymore because we ain't got water off here. But I need, the water comes from the floor, so I still need to keep Ready this pipe in. So I've got this now, dismantled all this stuff, got this on, and um, here we get it. Ah, oh, cheers. Nearly wet me willy, didn't it? <laughs> That's two wet patches I've got now. <laughs> You're chupping, don't me? <laughs> I didn't mean to get you that bad. Mate, I've no, turned no. the water. I, I used muscle. You did use muscle. To you might be like. Mick were pulling down from the top, and I was just guiding it in, weren't I? Yeah. <laughs> Um, yes, so yeah, we're not getting any leaks. Happy days. We can put some straw in here and get the cattle back in. Well done, mate. We'll get some snapping on. Come on. Yeah, come on, bacon sinus. So I've shifted the um, troughs from here, and we're gonna clean down the front, and then something's gonna go here after we've had his bacon sandwiches. Something that turned up yesterday. It says. Mm -hmm. For you, Michael. Who is it? What's wrong? Can't I can't tell you what it is, can I? Unless you know, pregnant there you go. Might be. Happy Easter. Who's that from? You never hear, are you? No. Oh, is that from Doctor Kid? Yeah. Nice. Brothers and us. Did she send his tweets? No. Yeah. Nice though, isn't it? Yeah, beautiful. From America, all the way from America, USA. Mm. Thinking her, isn't she? We've just had his dinner and I'm about to show you what we're going to be putting in. Now these came yesterday. Oh yes, boy! We show all these at a few of the shows. So I've been going to Low Grange Quarry and selling these. They're on, um, we need to get the, the, the adapters to hold them in. We can lift them into place around the back and get on with the job now. 10 foot long they are. So at the minute, we can pick them up with the pallet tines because we've been on some pieces of wood. Then when we get them closer in, we're gonna have to uh, put them in with the chains. So we're gonna get these set up against here I'm half wondering if we can just drop them off on tines you know as long as I'm not pushing them we've got one nearly in place Ben's just going to take the muck back sorry about the wind I've not got my mics today um, then we've got to get the chains and just lift it right up to it rather than trying to push it against and smashing something so the idea with these is we should be able to fill fill them from the mixer wagon if we wanted to they're really wide 
if you like and also the muck won't push out into the um, into the alleyway down here so we should keep it a little bit cleaner down here and uh, yeah I just want to see how we get on with them really I've not bought one for every trough on the farm so just want to see uh, see what they're like and then if they're good we'll maybe buy some more so you'll have to anyway. no there's four hooks um so yeah ben's put these on were they easy to get on that one isn't that one was, was like like a fancy kind of coupling to it might have broke off now i think it was a bit of concrete stuck around the bolt inside and i took the armor it went off they're all just like should have put some wd-40 in there can't even get it out you're gonna show us how you do it go on then ah oh, right. like the groove on inside it isn't it like locks on well that one had a bit of concrete stuck in it i think these two were just literally a lot easier like than, that. Yeah. than the uh top of concrete panel ones we've had before isn't it? yeah so we're just adjusting the chains now because we want it to lift up level not like that or like that there's a bit of adjustment going on here but um we'll try it it was just lifting up a bit awkward Yeah, I think it'll do for now, won't it? Might need to adjust one link, maybe at some point. What you say, mate? Monday, because you're a rat and not get underneath those, are No, no. Nice. Two and a half ton there. Two and a half ton? Yep. You need to lift that. Now move. Yeah. Is that what they're for? Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm going. Yeah, do you want to yeah. get your video out? You know, Ben's got some of Dan. He's got his video. <laughs> Where are you going tomorrow? Whitby. Whitby, uh, on it. Absolutely on it. Thank God for the care as well. Yeah, well done. Thank you, Dr. Kate. Bye bye. Bye bye. So we're getting, well, we nearly got three in. It's not took us long. Um, more working out time than actually getting it in. Well, it's starting to look somewhat light down here, isn't it? Woohoo! Snazzy! So we're just looking down and now goes out towards the end we can sort that out what I've been doing is putting a piece of wood on the bottom and just pushing it with the cone just to get them nipped up tight so these extra ones we are just putting out by the straw stack and um, we'll find a place for them soon enough but they want to be out of the way here because they uh, they're restricting where we can park that lorry. Noah's just taking some bales round. We're just going to push this little bit of muck up here. Got some in the bucket. And uh, Ben just tipped a little bit out of the trailer. Was, thought it was a bit pointless going into the field with literally like probably two buckets worth in the trailer. So you saw the sort of um, conditions we've got out there. I'll just uh, tip it on this one and push it up. So I've got the meal bucket on now and we will uh, gonna do a bit of tinkering with one of the bars that's down here but then we're gonna feed this new trough. Bar Ben's holding is on here so it's restricted them eating. I mean that's gonna restrict them a little bit. Ideally you wouldn't you just have like um, something that came out here and went along. We haven't got that at minute have we so we're just doing it as we can. Ben seems to think that the mixer will feed over the top um, of this side, which mm, is a bit of a challenge. But I mean, we don't feed that way, do we? <laughs> Ideally, we would be able to. So, we'll not be able to feed right to the edge because we've not made any end bits, but I think we'll just get some stock board or plywood or a sheet of metal and drill it into the concrete side. Yeah, this is how we'll feed them. It's going down like that. It's one thing you can get plenty of feed in there. It's fairly windy, yeah. Plenty of clearance, so I need to eat. Maybe 
Yeah, can't chuck it over the front very well, can they? So it's the height, which is good. It looks like they can reach far enough. We'll see in the morning, see if they leave like a strip here. If uh, if they don't, if they can reach all the way, like Ben. <laughs> it's not long enough. Then we don't need to change anything on here, but if not, then we might have to think of a redesign of the metalwork. I reckon that would look well cool all the way along. But, but I don't want to jump to no... Jump, jump in uh, with two feet too soon. We want to make sure it's working right, don't we? So, um, so yeah, we'll, we're going to trial it for a few months and see what we think. The thing about that as well, these sheds can be used for anything, right? If we wanted them to be perfect for cattle, we'd have the outside raised higher than the inside. But then if we wanted to change the use of these sheds into something else, like, I don't know, um, it's a commercial storage or something like that, you've got a big lip then, you can't just drive stuff in. Um, you couldn't turn it into a grain store or all that. Well, when you put them troughs in, because they've got that lip on them there, it lifts the height of the floor, I guess, um, up. So they can then put it on a flat surface so the cattle can be on the same height as what's outside so then the shed can be used for any purpose i mean it's always going to be used for cattle here don't get me wrong but it's just nice that there's the option to take all that out and then you've got a usable space for whatever else you wanted to use the shed for everything's like modular things can be moved and changed and other decisions made sort of thing so um, yeah I like them troughs. I like them troughs a lot. Right, and we jumped on the 130. Not being on this today. We'll uh, pull it into the shed. We've got the mixer to pull in as well. We'll get that done. Well, we got some cattle here, ladies and gentlemen. The big scan here. Not put in the bale of hay yet, so we'll, um, while he's getting backed up, we'll nip on the TM, grab a bale of hay, and get it in the pen so it's ready for him. So them guys will go down there now. Need some uh, fresh air. Come on, pretties. Come on. Get up. Right, that's them sorted. Um, so we'll uh, we'll get mixer in. I might need to give them a bit of straw, actually. I might give them a bit of straw. Even though it is very windy. Better make sure these passports don't blow away. And we'll just let him out because he's stuck at the end of the drive. Um, so yeah, that's uh, thanks for, to Woman's List for that. Dropping them off. That's in the shed. Uh, gotta go and do that bale straw. Mixer's in the shed, and it's time to do mixer mentions because I have missed it the, the last couple of days while I've been away. I, I, I do apologize. Um, we've got Andrew, who is a long time watcher. Happy birthday to you. Um, I think it was yesterday or a couple of days ago. Archie Zach, happy birthday to you. And Rosie Statton, who is a sheep farmer, 14 year old sheep farmer. Um, happy birthday to you too. 8,435. I thought we'd broke the 8,500 barrier. I'm sure I've been saying that, but look back. And no, we haven't. We haven't got there yet. Um, it would be fantastic to get to 10,000 at some point, wouldn't it? That'd be a really nice number to think that um, Yorkshire Ambulance have been able to use that to save people's lives across our region. And uh, thank you so much to everyone who's donated to that. Right, I'm gonna. Oh, I've got to jump on that, Anna. I'm walking this way, and I need to walk that way and get this straw put in. So that's it. Plenty of straw blown into them. Keep them happy. You guys happy? You look happy. Hmm. You have a nice rest tonight. But well, I think this is pretty much where I'm gonna leave it, guys. If you have liked today's video, remember to press like and subscribe. Quiet you. Um. <laughs> check out the merchandise at joeseals.com you can find it all on there and um, we've got the polish video up the last one is absolutely fantastic we had a, a great time um yesterday yeah yesterday um started off with some farm visits in the morning and the polish farmers were getting the vodka out it's like well we'll just steady up but um james had one or two uh but anyway Watch that video because it's fantastic, honestly, and you'll learn a little bit about um, sort of the uh, 
the money that can be made in Poland with dairy and just the life that they have out there, just fantastic. So yeah, I'm blown away. Love seeing stuff in different countries because it just, things work completely differently, don't they, to the way that they do here. So yeah, check that out anyway. And um, we will see you tomorrow when these guys have had a nice rest. Bye.